Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Ascott and you can see we are diving right into this tutorial today. As you will notice, I'm working with a 30 straight, which is sublimated, which is okay because you can use them when you're in a pinch. I've already measured out my sections and I'm going to use red, which is America, and blue, patriotic, both from AB Designs for the top and the bottom of my sections. And for the center section, I'm going to be using bougie. All of the links will be down below for you guys, so make sure you check those out, and there'll also be a coupon code down for you below. So once I've already glittered the top and the bottom, I've sealed them really, really well, and I've allowed it to dry. Now I can wrap them in parchment paper to protect them so that I can move forward with the center section where I can spray paint and then glitter. So now that you have your tumbler spray painted, you're ready to go in and immediately glitter. If you're satisfied with this glitter application, you can go ahead and remove all the parchment paper. We're gonna let this sit off and dry for a good 30 to 40 minutes. Then we're gonna come in with the clear seal and seal it again. Once that's dry, we're gonna move right in to our epoxy coat. So once your tumbler is completely dry, it is now ready for its first coat of epoxy. I'm using Counterculture DIY's Fast Set for this first coat. In about three to four hours, I'll be able to move on to the decals. As with any coats of epoxy, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. And while this cures, we're going to go ahead and move on to working with our beads to embellish the straws. As you can see, I'm just using what I have, not buying anything special for these. So these smaller beads work really well for the stainless steel straw, and the slightly larger beads work perfectly for the plastic straws. So I bought these various size wooden beads from Michaels, very inexpensive, and I just had to figure out which size beads would fit which straw. So once we've decided what's going to work best for which straw, we're now ready to move on to the glitter and spray paint method. And as with the tumblers, we're going to allow these to completely dry and then we're going to seal these. We're going to let these completely dry before moving on to the UV resin. So now we're ready to go ahead and move on to the UV. Now this is very, very thin, so I just like to pour it onto the bead and I'll use a little paintbrush to move it along. Once I'm happy with the coverage of this UV, I will stick these underneath the lamp for about 60 to 90 seconds. After that, I take them outside and I let the Florida sun finish curing them. So once they're ready, we're ready to apply them to the straw. And you will notice certain ones are slightly larger, like this blue one just kind of slips and slides. So we wouldn't want to put that one first. I kind of want to go with the red one. It does fit nice and tight. And then we're going to go with the white and then the blue. 
Once you have your beads placed onto your straw, if you decide to, you can make these a permanent fixture to your straw and just use the UV resin. So once popping these off, you'll notice, I hope you can tell even though it's slightly blurry, there's a little bit of a lip from where the, the epoxy and the glitter kind of gathered. But not to worry because we're gonna use the X-Acto knife very, very carefully and clean up this edge. Now you will see later in the video that I did decide to go ahead and print out some beautiful little tiny letters that says USA and apply them to the beads and then I just re-epoxy them. Now that these are super cute and completed, we're now going to go ahead and move into the tumbler. As you can see, as always, I've already gotten started with the first vinyl strip, and now we're going to do the second one together. Any solid vinyls you guys can pick up from Michaels or even Walmart, or there's places that you can order these solids online. So now we're ready for our water slide, which I've already sealed, and I'm ready to cut out. When I'm using clear water slides, I do not use my Cricut to cut them. I just cut as close to the image as possible. Once it's completely cut, we're going to just put it face down in room temperature water. You'll know when it's ready when it starts sliding off the backing. Once I have it cut, I always like to just kind of lay it on my tumbler just to make sure everything's going to line up right and it's not too big or too small for this section in which I want to apply it. So once I'm happy with that, we're ready to move on. Once I have the water slide applied to the tumbler, I take a damp paper towel and just smooth things out, just making sure I don't have any air pockets and or any wrinkles. Once I'm happy with the water slide placement and everything looks good, I'm going to allow this to completely dry for probably about an hour. Um, again, that's based on your room temperature. Um, so the longer you wait, the better. You want to really make sure that this is nice and dry before moving on to any coat of epoxy once you've placed your water slide. So we're now ready for a second coat of epoxy. I am going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY for tutorial purposes. Once this is completely dry, my final coat is going to be the Artist Resin from Counterculture DIY, as Fast Set is not recommended for a final coat of epoxy. I want to apologize um, for sounding super raspy in the video today. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on, but I, I uh, do apologize for that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more tutorials coming soon. And don't forget to find us on Facebook at Everything Tumblr Tutorials. As with any coats of epoxy, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see.